everyone. I hope that you are doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for a daily reading. If you are new, welcome to this channel. My name is Shannon and uh, sorry, my camera's bothering me. Uh, my name is Shannon. I'm glad to have you. My channel is very intense. Uh, I'm not Jewish or anything like that, but I am Hebraic. So if you're wondering what Shabbat means, it just means the Sabbath and my lineage uh, teaches us to keep the commandment so i keep covenant with you hold the elohim i'm not church or religious but i'm spiritual and uh his word is found in the tarot if you didn't know that so um it's it's taught here on this channel and um but anyway that's just who i am if this uh, channel is not for you then it won't be for you it's kind of a different type of a channel but welcome if you do stay you'll learn me as we go um those of you who are returning welcome back i hope that your day is fabulous um, if it's a birthday, happy birthday and happy anniversary and all of that. So I just did a reading for my other channel and it was a crazy energy. <laughs> it really was. And I'll put it down below because some people need to realize that we are dealing with some people now that they've got some really bad habits, but you have stated that they were caught. They were going to go to jail, but somebody has a chain of thoughts in their mind. Uh, but they're broken there. They really are. They're trying to lay down some type of nasty on somebody. And Jehovah said that they were going to go to jail. But you and I still have to use our intuition because of the world that we live in. So I would really like for you all to go watch that video if you're dealing with kooks and stuff like that. Because some people are. Okay. Anyway, just to let you know that you're protected. The will came out in that reading. And um, if you're walking in the truth and, and keeping the commandments of the Most High, you're protected. There ain't nothing that nobody can do to you. He will rescue you every time. So, thank you, Jehovah, for clear to find messages. Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. Shove it down to the pit of hell where it belongs. All right, show me, show me what's known here for the collective, Jehovah. What's known? Thank you. What's known is the truth, but it's, for some people, they're not talking about it. What's known is some people got some pride going on for some people. Um, what's known is also there's keen eyesight on some stuff. What's known is an eagle will eat a snake that talks out of both sides of its mouth. What's known is, is that Jehovah also is referred to as an eagle as well. And uh, his people will mount up with wings as eagles. And we have, we have keen eyesight because we're trusting in Jehovah who gives us that. So the truth is here. Uh, something about the United States, if some of y'all are in the military, then you are. Or legal matters could be here with this energy. But there's some type of truth and clarity that's here, whether it be spoken of or not, again, any given person. Um, but the truth is here. There's a conception also here uh, of a thought or, or of a child because all the aces can go to a conception. This is what's known here. What else is known? Let's take another one. What else is known with this energy? Thank you. Uh, so the truth really coming out really big. And so we just seen the will that still takes us back to the ninth house. Um, this is about a return. What's known as some type of a reconciliation. Um, somebody's having some type of thought going on today. It was really that. Remember yesterday we had some people also murmuring with their thoughts. We had people having a sweeping thought of something. And today on my other reading... We had somebody, there was chains of thoughts, but there was a chain in something that was also broken within the body or something, but there was plotting there, okay? And we had wordings that somebody was caught and somebody's partner is involved in some stuff. There was a group that came out, the wording where uh, the devil card didn't come out, but in wording, the devil came out and there's a strong addictive desire and some people have been bound together to do some stupid and so it's if, if, you know some type of a truth is here about somebody's husband that doesn't have a balance then because it's about balancing and uh then that that's what's showing then 
um, this is a death card as well. And the death, literal death card came out in that other reading. And so if you are new, like I said, I use the Hebraic living languages. This would be the letter noon. So the letter N could be uh, prevalent or a teacher could be prevalent. We have the teacher staff there with the hangman come out and the sun by right is there. So it's still coming out a different way. Let you all just confirm what he needs to say. But the letter noon is all kinds of stuff. What's known as eternity, death issues, children. This is the sperm. So somebody got pregnant. It's known with clarity, but also somebody could have high volume intuition about it and have some type of big time perception. It's about perception as well and not be speaking about something that they do know. Okay. Maybe you don't think that you got your spouse don't know that you got somebody pregnant, but it's showing here for some people they do know it. But they're keeping their mouth shut for some for whatever reason why or this is about inevitable fate as well with the ninth house but this is also about a river this is a uh, spirituality and things like that but there is a there is somebody though in the upper because truth is here then the truth is known maybe with all parties whatever about some husband or some type of pregnancy issue or spiritual person or a teacher energy that's here there's heirs to kingdom that's also known here um I was going to say something that just left me. Somebody in the upright is balanced and the truth has set somebody free. And they're, they're wanting to return. There's two cups here that are supposed to be. And uh, there could be somebody in the law that is watching this energy to protect it. Because this is about protection. Because there are heirs of kingdoms here and somebody's got a return coming. And it's inevitable that something is going to take place with two cups that are supposed to be together. That's what's known. Okay? So, what is uh, the most important thing that needs to come to the light about this, Jehovah, that you need to reveal? Thank you. So, we have high discernment. We have a lot of high discernment energy coming out here. Okay? So, this is inheritances. This also has a meaning of inheritances. And it's known about. And he's also bringing it back up to the light again. So, there is inheritance. And this is the truth about it. Um, this is... Um, a segregation card as well this is also about being whole within and being single and um, if your eye be single then you're full of light okay um, just hearing that come through my spirit because this would be a person who's single and whole and fruitful and patient and uh, they just got high discernment there's a lot of perception here something about this um, This is the lower version of the Empress as well in the deck. We have a, a match right out of heaven with two cups. It's perceived, it's known, it's understood about. Um, and there's the Queen of Swords. So there's pride here as well. well. There is pride here for some people. Give me another one in this. What else do we need to know about? There are birds showing up here. The bird in this picture as well because that there's high dis there's high discernment here about some stuff. So there's a consequence on a decision for somebody that you hope it brought this out yesterday as well. This is where the sun's at. This is real creative stuff. But there is a covenant and a promise here. And if you got high discernment, you will pick the correct thing. And there's also dreaming energy here. And for some people, some people are confused. There's a choice here. And there's uh, the law is here as well, and the knight in shining armor here in this section. What's outcome energy here for today with this? There's somebody around um, a situation that you can't, this is a I can't appease you kind of card. And that energy is here for some people. And there's high discernment about it. And there's law here on it. Okay? Because somebody's just a, they're just a kook and and everything else so yeah because there's third parties involved in some stuff so we got the three of um let me put it down here we got the three of swords okay we do have the empresses here all right well and she has a counterpart and that's also the law that's also money. It's the letter G, the gimmel, the gimmel, or the letter L can be here as well. There could be stormy waters, but that can go back to stormy water energy. And the G and the L is a gale storm. However, your name could be Gail. Um, 
but this is a rich and generous person, so we know that there's a lot of money. There's fortune here. There's fortune here with inheritance, and it's known about it, and it's clear. All right, and so do we do have jail? Somebody is going to go to jail because you have already stated so. Again, these people are supposed to be in your life. There is a match here right out of heaven. Third party's out, whatever the person is that's causing some stupidness. We have the V and or the W is also here. Uh, person, place, or thing, first one, or last name. Um, there's death issues. There's death issues. Somebody's going to be tied up for those death issues and things that have been said behind the back and every freaking thing else. And somebody's going to be able to rest after a broken heart. And because that'll make four there. There are death issues here. Because we've got eternity here. It's known about. It is known about. The home. There will be and things that happened at celebration as well. Because it keeps coming out. And things now will be celebrated as well. You hold it, Give me some words here. What do you want to bring out? You just pick it through my hands. Give us some hope. What do we need to know for outcome for today? There's a nymph around um, and to beware of it. Now, if you don't know what a nymph is, I have a video down below. Um, the spiritual writings will reveal to you what a nymph is. And so there's a nympho around. Okay, and those are those are connected to giants. They're connected to water energy as well. Um, sailors you could be in the military. We do have military energy showing up here, so somebody needs to be careful because somebody trying to rope. They're, they're connected to ropes of deceit as well, and they're loud, or they will be loud sirens that'll just be. We had a sigh come out in my other reading. Somebody just, you know, obviously some. You know, something happened to us that it, it, we can sigh. But this, these are people that they, they're sirens, though, and they're loud, and they're just hard. They're women. They're loud women. They want to harp on you all the time about things. And we, we talk a lot about women on this channel, okay? Uh, but there's a nymph around, and Jehovah wants somebody to know that, to be careful, just as somebody's cute. They, they're a sire. They're cr they cry. And oh my, this happened to me, and then they rope you in, and then boom, you lose your life, and it's for your destruction, is what the writings say. Go watch that video down below. It's, it's called "What Is a Nymph." Um, so somebody was left, and, and this could happen to you if you don't take the advice and understand what these people do. These little, these little girls, these little cuties. They're not, they're not cuties at all. They're very destructive. But you men can do what you want. You want to be destroyed and destroy your life. This is eternity here. You will lose it. Anyway, um, there's third parties here. Um, and they have an agenda. And they want to make you destitute and forsaken and lonely and stuff like that. Okay? But this is a return. Jehovah is, this is a salvation. Somebody needs salvation within something that's taken place or was affected by this stupid nasty energy something out of family reunion is here was right here family and then this is a reunion and this is a celebration so let you hope us speak on you hope you speak on an eye center is here again we've got high perception and knowledge of something that can be seen and if your eye be single then you have the light within, okay? And nothing can harm you. You're saved because you always got protection around his people. There's heirs to kingdoms here. Uh, so there's a wild card gambler energy. Again, these sirens, people, these sirens. You need to you need to pay attention to if you're going out today and doing whatever you're doing, you really need to pay attention, especially single people. The single people here, there's somebody that will be around you that you will not be able to appease somebody and they're a heartbreaker. Okay, so how care how cute they are your child energy is around something so if you older people got um you know people that are single that are old your your, your child's old enough to, to date or whatever then you need to go have a conversation let them watch this video i don't care it, i mean it's for somebody's destruction today it was really coming out somebody's really plotting how to do something bad to somebody people um and yes it's a setup Okay, and Jehovah's seeing it, and there's going to be justice, so let Jehovah speak on and you don't need to be moving in fear either, okay? Jehovah uh, Jireh will supply your need today. Whatever you need, he will supply you. This is this what come out, people. Let me take from, um, what happened to that other? Just take a couple more cards here. Extra energy, please, Jehovah. So something's a setup. You need to be aware there, there's a um, nympho around. There's siren. There's cords of deceit here. It's a wild card energy. Okay, just like that. 
some shocking surprises. If you are getting together with your family and stuff like that, you really need to keep your eye out on your kids or um, if somebody you don't know shows up and they're really cute and you're single, there's a, there's, there's a real creative energy here with the Seven of Cups. Okay, there's a consequence here. Okay, so we also got energies of um, people praying. And you're also dealing with people who pray to idols and stuff like that. It's dangerous. Um, some people lost their ever-loving mind to do that stupidness. But we do have a, a card that's coming out here. This is a consolation card. This is uh, something that is uh, entitled to somebody. And we got inheritances that Jehovah keeps bringing out that are entitled to family members. we got family energy here. And some people have taken that stupidness because of a death situation. Okay, because we got crazy kooks out here. People, this is a crazy card. We are dealing with the crazy kook. Okay, it's a crazy card here as well. There's a consequence today. Again, and we're going to be seeing it in this season anyway. Okay, the journey card also came out. So we got people gathering together and doing some stuff then. And the journey card also came out. This is, you know, obviously a journey is a journey or something happened on a journey. And now there's a heartbreak and things stupid things have happened out of that stupidness. That's also a music group. And this goes back to music. The twelfth house, a very creative, artistic step. We got a crazy person though here, so you need to be careful. We got children around. So, well, your child is here, okay? And you don't want to get pregnant with these things, because these things will relate back to giants and stuff like that. Go watch that video down below. This is what Jehovah brought out. So, we take whatever He wants to say today and uh, use your intuition. Those of you who want want to watch the Shabbat Shalom um, reading that I do on the Shabbat, it's the High Arcana that can be found in the Tarot and on the Shabbat. I read whatever. Um, Jehovah wants to bring out, we have the Bet today, which teaches us about the Bet is the high priestess, okay? It's about being a patriarch of a family is what the high priestess represents because it represents um, the house of Jacob. And we have heirs to kingdoms here as well. And um, so that's real high volume intuition. We got all kinds of high perception out here today on this crap that needs to go away out of the earth. So once this stuff is uprooted and taken away, people, then we can have an earth and celebrate in peace. Because these people are bringing a destruction in, on themselves, really, because Jehovah's going to shake them out. Um, but anyway, there is salvation here today for you. But I will put the Shabbat reading down below as well. And then go watch that other uh, daily reading. Um, on my channel. I'll also put that in the community section. Some of y'all probably have already watched it, but if not, I'll put it down below as well. Until next time, shalom.